Joining us on the line right now is Larry Kudlow, CNBC senior contributor, host of The Larry Kudlow Show, heard on WMAL Saturdays at 7 p.m. Larry, good to have you with us. Thank you. Good morning. All right. So the president yesterday uh, announced that he's going to... uh, uh, he's going to tinker with uh, the overtime rules so that uh, employers would be required to pay overtime to those who are currently exempted from those. You know, you can you can give somebody like an assistant manager title, but you could say, well, you know, you're my key employee, you're you're on a salary, and therefore I'm not going to pay you overtime. He wants to increase the threshold for that from twenty three thousand to fifty thousand. Good thing, bad thing. He's out of his mind. <laughs> Thank you. Out of his mind. You know what's so great about this? He has never worked in business, ever. He has no idea. He has no. Not only, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. He 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 has no idea about business, salary, wage, overtime, equal pay, all this nonsense. Just pandering to the far left of his party. I mean, companies. First of all, companies should decide their own uh, pay practices, not the government. And second of all, whatever happened to getting promotions and working your way up the ladder? Whatever happened to that? Right. What What does he have to do with that? What, is he going to tell the companies who now? Maybe single them out, like have rosters of you know each company's uh, uh, personnel and say this guy should get that and this guy should get that. I mean, I, this is. I guess this is sort of the extension of the minimum wage. That's what he's trying to do here, and he's not going to get it. They know they're not going to get it. Well, and it makes makes him feel so good, and it makes his supporters feel so good about themselves. But ironically, the people who will be impacted the most are the people that he claims yep. he's trying to help. Of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Of course. Yeah. And by the way, so many of these companies, I mean, I, I assume he's sort of aiming this at larger companies, you know, retailers, the Walmarts and the Costcos and places like that, Targets. Um, you know, if, if an employee is uh, fast-tracked, through the higher, you know, up up the pay scale, up the personnel scale, that that's up to the company. That's up to the company. And when I was a kid, I mean, this is the I was thinking about this uh, when Heather mentioned to me, and I got your email. I was a kid. I I had a job at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Okay, and um, I had a good job, and I had a title, and it was a managerial job. I was you know like in the training program, and we had and. They gave me a salary, and I worked and worked and worked. I mean, I'll be perfectly honest with you. This is a long time ago. Um, I came in Saturdays. Some people knew I came in. Most people had no idea I came in. Uh, I worked late until 7, 8 o'clock at night when the place was empty. And I did that because, first of all, I loved my work. And second of all, I wanted to do my work better than anybody else did their work at my comparable level. And that's the way the system works. I mean, you're incentivized by how you do, how you're promoted, uh, what your what your uh, uh, evaluations are. Uh, Larry, exactly. you were exploited by the man, and you just don't <laughs> know it. You were a patsy. Yeah. I wanted to be exploited. I mean, that's the thing. And, I, and, and look where, how it turned out for you. Well, it wasn't bad. I mean... <laughs> It wasn't bad. There's a certain sense of responsibility uh, to yourself and to the firm to do well. And it's part of the American ethic. It's part of the American idea that if you work hard and you climb the ladder and you will succeed. You can't just arbitrarily wave a magic wand right. and say so-and-so is an assistant manager and therefore gets less money. Yeah. Because this, this, he, just, he, just, he has no clue about how business works. No clue. Yep. Never has. I would feel better will. if he'd ever had to put a payroll together one time. Well, right. Listen, I want to ask you about another question that, uh, while our time is running short here. Um, uh, the cost of oil is just plummeting. Right. I mean, there's a big war going on between the, the OPEC cartels and the shale producers, and uh, the, the beneficiary seems to be people who go to the gas pump. Yeah. This is, you know, I love this story because um, the way you look at this, the media, and unfortunately, uh, even a lot of people on Wall Street are saying, oh, my God, it's so bad The oil prices are down. Uh, from let's say a hundred bucks to sixty-five bucks. Do you guys? I, I'm sure you go and gas up your own cars. When you go to the <laughs> gas station, well, I do. Yeah, I do too, actually. Um, do you, Do you see a lot of people weeping 
over two dollars and fifty cents. Not point. a whole lot of grief there, no. no. Uh, people, uh, you know, <laughs> gr- running in to the food mart and asking for Kleenex because they're so sad that their oil price is dropping. Yeah. I mean, this is one of the, frankly, this is one of the best pro-growth things. It's a tax cut effect. Yeah. Basically, all over the world. It also, I don't know if you saw any of the front pages like the Financial Times, Russia. Right, our great enemy Russia is getting killed because of this. Yep, killed. The ruble is crashing. They're postponing pipelines. Their economy is in a shambles. Their inflation rate is going up, even though oil prices are going down because the ruble is crashing. This is unambiguously good. This is so totally bullish. I can't begin to tell you how bullish yeah. this is. And, and oil, it's a national security issue, as you just raised. And it by is. the way, uh, Larry, I, I listened to your program this Saturday, this past Saturday on WMAL here at 7 p.m., as, as everyone should. And you use the fracking issue and oil prices and, and a lot of other issues to systematically, methodically, point by point, eviscerate your state, your senator from the state of New York, uh, Chuck Schumer, right. who, by the way, is up for re-election in 2016. I got the sense hearing you, Larry Kudlow, go after Schumer in such a methodical way over two of the hours, I think. I, are, are you are you interested in making an announcement here? Would you throw your head into the ring for the Republican nomination well, against Chuck Schumer? I'm not ready to do that. I can just tell you uh, a couple years ago, a lot, a lot of people wanted me to run. They set up a citizens committee. It was all volunteers. I, I took a look at it. it the, the, the time wasn't right. I've never completely rejected it. Um, you know, Mr. Schumer... If you go to his website, the first thing you come up against is that his main purpose in life is to improve the economy of New York. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That's what a senator should do. So in order to improve the economy in New York, he is thrown in with all the left-wing enviros to stop fracking. Now, if you go across the street in southeastern New York into Pennsylvania, they are having a boom. Yes. A boom because they allowed fracking years ago, and yeah. they're doing great. New York, on the other hand, upstate New York, really from Binghamton right up through Buffalo and all those cities, have had a 50 year downturn. Yeah. This is exactly the kind of thing which has been proven environmentally safe. Right. Exactly the kind of thing the state needs. And, and, and Schumer, who is now yelling at Obama for Obamacare, I mean, geez, I told you so, the guy was cheerleading right. Obamacare until they got killed this last election. He won't go for fracking. Right. This is single- Wilson, he's dodging the issue on the yeah, Senate run. He, Would he, you get he, him he, to. Yeah, like the, <laughs> are you, are besides, you running or are you not running? Are you going to rule it out? Besides co- tax rates. <laughs> Tax cuts and fracking is the way to to, to help New York. All right, and here's all right. the senior senator opposing both. I think he's running. Think Somebody's yeah. got to go after this. All right, right. Larry, Somebody's got to go after Thank this. Thank you for joining Maybe us. Maybe that will be Larry The Cutler. future senator from the Empire State.